Leo, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for November. We're going to take a look at your overall general energy, what you may not see coming, and get some important advice from spirit. I'm doing the five element reading today. What does that mean? It means I'm going to be looking at the major areas of growth for you in all the five elements, including wood, metal, fire, water, and earth. So let's get started. Thank you, Spirit, for presiding over this reading for Leo today. Hmm. I feel guided to take a deep breath. Are y'all taking a deep breath right now? Or do you need to take a deep breath? We have the Empress at the bottom. Let's see. What is the major area of growth, the major arcana for you for the month of November, Leos? Welcome back. Thank you for tuning in, for being here with me today. Ooh, we have the lover spoken out. Okay. We're going to talk about, seems to be uh, what's in the air today. I just did Sag and it was all about love. Shared love, okay? You could have a, a Leo, a uh, decision around love that you need to make because the lover is a choice point traditionally when it comes to choosing love. It doesn't mean it's romantic, strong Gemini energy, something it needs to be decided, I'm hearing. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck the tower. Okay. This is symbolic of Scorpio season. So there's a big, powerful um, energy at play in your growth around a love connection, romantic or platonic. We'll see in the cards if this is more romantic, if it leans that way, but there's a powerful shift. Okay. A powerful change, surprise. Uh, sometimes tower, towers can be a lot of things. Let's find the shadow of this tower. Why is the tower? Oh, okay. This is powerful. Powerful. You could be dealing with an Aries or have an Aries. Um, yeah, the strong Aries energy with Scorpio here, Leo. Uh, there's a situation that's undergoing a current transformation because it needs to, right? You could have, you could have some sort of faulty alignment in a foundation with another. We're going to get into this. A change is needed here. Sometimes the death and tower... It's like, I'm, something's got to give. I just heard that. Something's got to give. <clears throat> it doesn't mean good or bad. It just means um, that something is changing. Hmm. Let's go into the cup energy. Two of cups at the bottom. Let's see. What is the major area of growth in your emotions, in the water element? What are you going to be primarily feeling emotionally in November? Leo. What's going on emotionally for you? Oh, King of Cups. I like seeing that. This is taking charge of how you feel, being honest. This is emotional integrity, emotional maturity. This is loyalty of the heart. So there's something or someone you may be loyal to this month that you, someone you deeply love or will love. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming. Ooh-wee, a lot of emotional fulfillment. What's hiding in the shadows of that? Ace of Cups. I'll tell you what, something I woke up this morning too. You know when you wake up and you just feel really good and you're even in your mind, you're like, why should I feel this good? And you just do. There's some sort of magic in the air reading tarot today because this is really good. <laughs> it's almost like this death a uh, tower is like a major, it could be a major like, um, like love at first sight with this energy here. What is going on today? It's like, I woke up and like, <laughs> Cupid is, is sitting at my feet here as a reader. I don't know what's going on. But this feels really good, y'all. Maybe you maybe you're dealing with a Sagittarius or someone has strong Sagittarius placements because they've got a new beginning in love as well. And if this has nothing to do with a romantic bond, it could have to do with you reorienting the way you view your life. Oh, there's just this dreamy aspect here of you finding just being happy. November's a happy month. So far, you're gonna feel really good. You're gonna feel like a cup of abundance is is in the palm of your hand. That's the ace of cups right? My life is abundant. The love is flowing. I'm happy. I feel fulfilled. I mean, what's wrong with that? Nothing. Okay. Now, this is where we get a little stuck, usually in our heads. Page of Swords, do the research, studying something, learning something new. Some of you are doing that at this time, but let's get the major energy here in the metal element for November. Oh, I love this. Resting, healing, 
This is a calm nervous system, right? Emotional regulation, feeling at peace on the path, taking a time out. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Your energy is being very protected, Leo, at this time. You got badass Michael by your side, right? Michael's an incredible being. He may be telling you, you know what? It's time for you to just take a rest. You know, you're in a good place because there's going to be some upheaval. There's going to be some massive changes and it's going to lead to a lot of emotional fulfillment, but you need to rest right now. So I'm getting that right now for you, Leo. Make sure you're taking time to rest and relax. Doing the self-care, the self-healing, right? Work. What's in the shadows of that? Powerful movement. It's almost like you're going to be going in a new direction. I don't know what that direction is, but it's going to be life-changing, okay, with this death. And it's a major transformation. You could be going through a major transformation in your love life or in the feeling of love in general. Mm, okay. I see good mental energy here with the metal energy where you have clarity, right? You feel like you're on a divinely protected, guided path. You could have some new ideas that you're implementing. And right now you're kind of just incubating in the ideas. Some sort of magical cauldron going on here. A swirl of energy that you're trying to ground and stabilize. And we're going to see more of that in your earth energy. But oh, there's some powerful new beginning here. I'm seeing Sag had this too. A lot of aces. You're in a powerful new beginning and a powerful new vibration, Leo. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. And they want you to protect your energy. This is cherishing the people you love, right? Protecting the people you love as well. Mm, a lot of fiery energy, Cupid's arrows, strong opportunities, communications. Something is like, sometimes this is defensiveness, but I'm getting overall coupled with the eight of wands here. Whenever I see the seven and the eight, it's like, okay, step by step. I'm going to guard my energy. I'm resting. I'm healing. I, see, I have clarity on the path. There's a lot of changes going on in my life, but the answers are coming. But you need to take, you need to make sure you're experiencing time and solitude in rest, right? Mental nervous system rest, right? Where you're not in an active mental state. You're actually in that calm, peace and calm. We're talking sitting on your porch time, right? With a cup of coffee, listening to the birds, going on a nice stroll. You need more of that, okay? Because there's there's going to be a swirl of intense energy and it doesn't feel bad. It's just nice to make sure you take that time out for yourself because even powerful good change can be overwhelming, okay? What's at the bottom of the deck? Knight of Wands. Ooh, you're going in a beautiful new direction. Look at that. You've got victory, victory, success. What is going on today? I'll tell you what, though. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take it. Something is beautifully unfolding for Leos and Sages. Fire signs are lit up in November. Something is happening with the fire signs. Something has been happening with the fire signs. It was like taking back your power, definitely like You've made, you've made a huge stride in your healing journey because whenever I see this four of swords, you've had an opportunity to do a lot of healing around the way you deal with things mentally. And, and there's a powerful shift going on between you and all of your, this feels like all of your relations. I just heard all of your relations, all of your connections. It's shifting the energy because you're shifting, you're changing. And there's a strong, high current of love in all of this. Letting love lead the way, Leo. This is powerful movement, powerful energy. There's a lot of activity going on in your life. This is, I'm, you know, I'm finding success out in the world, Jenna. I'm feeling really confident. You know, I'm going in this beautiful new direction. I feel protected here. I, I have all these opportunities coming in. This is good stuff, Leo, good stuff. Just make sure you temper the energy with rest. Okay. Because this feels very like, oh my God, I'm going in a million different directions. So I have five different projects that I'm handling at once, okay? Utter complete transformation on your path. High achiever. <laughs> this just feels like a high achiever energy. I just heard that. All right, now let's go into your, let's ground this in your earth energy. I feel like this is going to be very, very indicative. Yeah. We had the six of pentacles that came out sideways, which is, 
opportunity, opportunity, opportunity to give and receive. The universe is being generous with you. Take it in. This is the card of, it could be a little bit in, overwhelming, even intimidating. Like, wow, I've got, I, I manifested some beautiful opportunities here. Page of Pentacles, making plans, going in a new direction, moving forward with the King of Pentacles. I love it. There you are. There you are, grounding, grounding in your earth energy. Something powerful is unfolding. We have the Queen of Pentacles underneath that. If you are, if you came to this reading wondering about a connection, whether you're headed in the right direction, yes, you will succeed here. If you came here wondering about a new idea, if you should go for it, yes. If you came here wondering about if you're in the right place in your life right now and you're making good decisions, I say yes. Something is powerfully transforming in your energy frequency, Leo, that is bringing in a sense of freedom, healing, openness, success, opportunity, money. This is the card of the entrepreneur. This is, I've got a lot of plans in the works and a lot of things that I'm doing. And I'm reaching a new level of success and it's changing my very frequency. I am being reborn. I'm a self-made woman or a self-made man. Hmm. And it's, it brings so much fulfillment when you find financial stability and security. It changes your life. So for those of you who are really working hard out there and you're doing what you love, let it transform you. Let the old version of you fall. It's a powerful transformation. This is what I got... Um, for Aries, and also I feel like the collective is going through this powerful shift in their ascension around finding security and stability inside. And there's a beautiful spiritual shift going on here where you may even be generous with other people because you have that power. This is, I want to give back to my community, right? I want to volunteer. I'm getting that too with this earth energy. There's something that you could be stepping into the spotlight. Some of you who are like content creators, I see like all of this like eyes on you, eyes on you. Or if you're stepping up in your work environment, eyes on you, eyes on you, right? It's an attractive time for you, Leo. And you need to be implementing these ideas that you have and moving forward with them. You also have a very profound healing going on and a major transformation in a connection in your life. I don't know who it is to you, but it's powerful. If you've had some issues lately, they're being healed behind the scenes. It's almost like the angelic realm saying, we got this. We got this. It's being healed as we speak. Let's get some clarification here. Let's clarify the lovers came out first, right? That's your major area of growth is in learning and growing how you can be leaning on your own independence no matter who's around you is the order of the day, <laughs> the order of the month, self-care, taking care of your needs, okay? Changes your energy. You have more to give to others, right? Got to give to you first. All right, let's get the clarifiers here for this major arcana. We have the tower, the death, and the lovers. Powerful transformation, rebirth. It's almost like, you know, when, when people like get a shock to the heart, right? Uh, what do you call it? The defib or whatever I'm, you know, that languaging is something that's like powerfully like a shockwave through your heart that's going to just awaken you and bring more life into aliveness into your life. That's what I'm getting from that coupling. Yeah, because you know what? You've had some sadness that's been foreshadowing, overshadowing a connection. There's some sort of grief process that you've been going through, whether you have lost someone or, or a pet. It's like that whole still loving something after it's gone energy. What's at the bottom of this? Judgment. Strength. There you are, Leo. There's a powerful decision that you're making right now, I think, to go from, to shift the energy from loss and grief and sadness. You're coming out of that. You're coming out of that. I'm going to get a little more on this. Five of Cups. This came out sideways, nine of cups. Yeah, it's minor. Whatever this five of cups is to you, it's something that's been 
affecting a connection, some sort of sadness. And it may be even something that you haven't really shared. You could be with someone that's going through a period, a season of loss, someone in your family, maybe you all lost someone. There's something that is going to be a power. I'm not talking about the literal death, but it could be with the death here in the five of cups. And it's like a shocking change. And if anyone who's lost a loved one recently, a pet, I'm hearing a pet, um, you're going to get through this. You're going to get through this and you, you need to rely on the people around you, right? Let, let the people around you support you. This is spirit saying you have a lot of love in your life, Leo. Overall, I feel good energy off of this month. It's just you're coming out of maybe a season of sadness and grief and loss. And you're slowly but surely regaining your footing and recognizing that you have only one life to live. And while there may be grief and loss, we are eternal. So death is really birth. I see not birth to death. I see birth to birth. That's how I see life because we are eternal. I, but I speak with the spirit world all the time. People that I've known that have passed on. One of my dear friends left this plane um, at the beginning of the year. And she visits me quite often, usually when I'm doing the dishes, right? When we're, we've got water on our hands or in the shower, I just saw a bird go to the window. So it's true. We also see them in the, the winged messengers. So you're coming out of a time period where maybe you had to go through a loss in a connection. Maybe you had a breakup here. Sometimes this indicates a breakup and coming out of that phase, right? Where... Whew, you still have a lot of love and you're ready for a new beginning and you have clarity around your path and it's served you in your career to have time out on your own, okay? For some of you who are single, you're coming out of that powerful season of grief and you're finding happiness again and you're happy for the support you have around you. Let's see this cup energy. Yeah, powerful time of healing, Leo. That's twice now, four swords twice a lot of air influence a lot of you being at ease finding peace in the journey letting go letting god right letting goddess powerful time of healing in your heart space right you've reached this level of i know how to make myself happy we have two nine of cups that's personal emotional fulfillment derived by you and you by leaning into the healing practices the self-care work right the self-love you have graduated to a new level of operating within a beautiful heart space, giving that to others and receiving that with that six of pentacles energy here in your earth energy. Yeah, you definitely have gone through some heartbreak, some loss. Now we have with your, with your mind energy, we have five of pentacles, which is loss and hurt. Okay. You could have had to deal with something that really hurt you. In the recent past but you're trying to put more energy into your healing more now than ever okay so you can move forward on your journey and not get stuck here okay i see a powerful movement beyond any kind of hurt i feel like someone hurt you and it was a little bit of a not a little bit it was a blow it was a blow to your heart whether it was a breakup or a big fight okay because sometimes knight of swords energy is battling right going to battle right it's a brave heart energy I'm going to war with this person and I'm trying to get clear on the energy and it's time to invest in this differently. I don't want to fight, right? I want peace. So you're choosing peace and sometimes there's loss from that. I'm not saying you're deciding to break up with someone. I'm just seeing that it, your energy is better spent on you focusing on your own healing and recognizing the ways in which you've been carrying pain within you. So it doesn't interfere with this brand new opportunity to invest, right? Your investment of energy, your real earth energy, your 3D energy needs to be on you and keeping your nervous system calm and not going to battle with anybody in your life, okay? Let love lead the way. If anything needs to transform, if anything needs to be released, this is the time period this month during Scorpio season. There's a lot of releasing powerful transformation in your heart, okay? Around the things that have been maybe building up. I see you letting it out, letting it go, maybe speaking about it speaking to a therapist about it, speaking to your friends about it, talking about it, not holding it in. It's a powerful surrender, right? Now let's go into your wand energy. So it's like the more you focus on healing, the things that have hurt you, the better you're going to feel mentally in your mind. 
Now let's go into your fire energy. Yeah, Ace of Wands. You've got something, you've got a powerful new beginning. We have aces now in every element. There's a powerful new energy shift here for you where it's time to open up your heart again. It's time to see the truth and find clarity of, of what's been going on in your life. It's time for you to go in a passionate new direction to find your inspiration, Leo, because you are stepping into the limelight. I feel like you have all these amazing things happening in your life or things that are going to continue to expand for you. Don't let anyone keep you from that or anyone that you've had to leave behind keep you from your own shine, right? You deserve to shine. There's a lot of third eye opening going on. You're being directed by your intuition to move powerfully forward, guarding your energy, especially in the way you communicate. Being careful about letting someone speak harsh words to you. I feel like you have someone who's a little bit, I don't know why, just someone who may be um, either they're kind of intense or the way you approach this whole thing has gotten intense at times and it's time to like, this really, I get the, the biggest thing I heard when I started this reading for you, especially when I hit the four of swords is nervous system regulation. No longer will you be in nervous system dysregulation. And that takes um, conscientious effort on your part to not engage. Whoever this is, it's, it's a connection that has taken its hits. But I do see a powerful transformation healing going on in whatever the hurts have been. But there is a need to let go, grieve what you need to grieve, because this is almost like when you lose trust in somebody, right? And faith because of the way that they've treated you. And the words that were said, okay? Let's go into this beautiful area of success. I feel like you're really expanding in your career and you're given a lot of new, this is also the card of you being divinely inspired. Your focus is a lot on course correcting in your love life, but also something's going on in your career, st stability, security, that is kind of like putting the love to the side and that's transforming as we speak because you're glowing up in your career. It's changing the energy. I was, what did I talk about this too? I think it was earth signs. You may be dealing with someone that's strong earth placements with this king of pentacles because, or you have strong earth placements in your chart because there's like i call it nre new relationship energy whether it's a new relationship coming in or you're in an existing relationship where the energy is shifting that's what this feels like new i mean the tower the death and uh the lovers is definitely nre new relationship energy yep and what does this bring wow there's a powerful um connection coming in for you this is also un uniting with your divine masculine, your divine feminine, the sacred aspects of you in this 3D reality, knowing that you came here to build a stable life and you deserve safe love, okay? There could be a powerful shift from not feeling safe in a connection to feeling safe. And I'm talking about physical safety, okay? If you're in anything like that, please, I beg you, do not stay in anything that you feel you don't feel physically safe in. That's not the direction that this feels like. It's more... You want to build a nest of emotional safety with someone where you can go and you can be your true self. You can air out your concerns. You can speak openly and clearly, and you don't have to worry about anyone's re retribution or wrath or inability to accept responsibility. So if you're in a situation where you're with someone who can't do that, you're actually getting clear about it right now. I, that may be a, applicable for some of you. Others of you, you've gone through a loss and a breakup, and this is that powerful glow up of energy in November, where you're moving past the painful part and you're opening up and expanding. And as a result of this change and shift, you've changed and shifted and you've done so much healing, Leo. Whether you're with someone or not, the point is, is that you're doing the healing work and it's powerful and profound and it's aligning you with your own power. And it's a beautiful thing. This is true power in the world, true power. But I do believe that if you are worried about a connection there's a need for things to be healed in the way you communicate and you will triumph over this by taking a new attitude and a new approach with this person right forgiveness healing beginning anew okay 
There's a powerful communication going on between the two of you where you need to have a talk. This is like, we need to talk about some things that are hurting both of us or hurting me and airing it out. Let's get into the Akash because I feel like we're going to clear on some of this. Feels like there's a lot going on, Leo. Powerful, but a lot. But that's Scorpio season. You're definitely in the thick of it this month in Scorpio season. I'm telling you, you could be dealing with someone with strong Scorpio placements or you could have Scorpio placements. All right. Healing. What did I say? Overall, the major area of growth for you is healing. Let me get the rest of these. I'll just tell you the title and then we'll go forward and read them. Obligation. That's in your heart energy. Being tied to another. Now we have release attachment in your metal energy. Your fire energy, be present. And in your earth energy, take a chance. Okay, let's get this first one. Healing. This is a powerful time of healing for you. Look at that. You know, like when we, when we raise our hands and we surrender, it's like, I feel like that's what you, you're at that breaking point in a connection where you're like, I, my happiness matters. I'm, I'm hearing that from you. My happiness matters. Your body, mind, and soul are in a period of deep healing right now. You're going through many transformations at once, and you're being asked to allow yourself to receive the healing you need with open arms and an open heart. Very important. I just saw 2626. That's going to be powerful. I want you all to look that up. That's going to be extremely important message for you in the angelic frequency of numerology. 2626. Now the metal energy. We have another card. Two. We have a lot of healing going on. Times three. We have the card of healing. We have four of swords twice. Now, this is in your heart energy, okay? And I'm getting this, this need for things to be healed so you can start operating from unconditional love, shared unconditional love, mutual unconditional love, a renewal of love. Stop telling yourself you should when you cater to others or to unnecessary expectations of yourself. You stop your flow of abundance. So don't do things out of obligation. Do things because you want to, okay? There's a powerful need for you to speak up, Okay. Now we have in the sword energy where we had a lot of clarity coming in and you moving forward, not wanting to fight, okay? Feeling some sadness, releasing some sort of grief process going on in a heartbreak or heartache, okay? Needing to invest in you, in your own healing. We have release attachments. There's something you need to let go of. It's either a limiting belief, an untruth, or negative behavior. It's holding you back and keeping you from stepping into your true potential and happiness, okay? Okay. Let that Akash speak to you. Now we have in your fire energy, we have this spotlight energy, this rise to success, right? These opportunities coming in. Eight of wands, seven of wands, um, nine of wands, and the six of wands with the ace of wands. It's a lot of fire, okay? Powerful, powerful movement, change, be present. You are ungrounded and spending too much time in your head. Something has created you, sorry, caused you to retreat to your mind. It's time to bring consciousness to it so you can resolve it and start living life more fully again, okay? Powerful message there for your fire element. Now your earth element with this king and queen of pentacles, which could be a, a long-term connection that you've been in that's been weathering its storms where there's been um, a need for both people to give equally in this, Right. One person may be over under functioning here where someone is compensating. The energy is not equal. So this card is around, or this is also when it comes to your, what you're building in your success level, giving and receiving, being generous with others in your career, growing in that sector, coming into balance in your stability and security in the world. Okay. As it relates to self, because it's always other and self in my readings, take a chance. It's time to step outside your comfort zone. The world is waiting for you to take a chance. When you do, you'll be rewarded with newfound confidence and enthusiasm and will begin to attract new results. Some of you are taking a chance on building a new business and you're partnering with somebody. This could be a business partner coming in who's going to finance a new opportunity, a new beginning and plans are being made. Okay. Some of you are creating a new business with someone or you're expanding a business and things are going to go really well and spirit's giving you the green light to take a chance. Okay. Now. Let's get, I don't think, yeah, I already did. I do. Yeah, I already did the advice. That was with the four of, yeah, I already did. Did I do the advice? Did I do the advice? No, I did not do the advice. Let's do the advice. Sorry. <laughs> I think because I did the advice and then the Akash last time, but I did not do the advice. I did not see those cards. 
Let's get some advice, y'all. What's your advice, Leo? What's your advice? Judgment. Powerful, powerful period of rebirth, right? Decision time. Go time. Phoenix rising from the ashes. Powerful time of change and renewal. Yeah, you're going through. A lot of you um, could be married. Or you could be stepping into the role of a spiritual guide, a spiritual teacher, and you're like, I'm not worthy, and you're having to do a lot of cleanup work around that. There's something around you in your spiritual lessons around you being marked by extreme success, um, stepping into a period of reward and recognition for a job well done. We have two major arcana in your advice here around staying committed, right, to your own truth. This is stay true to yourself, Leo, ultimately, all right? Only then will you rise and shine, okay? So this is about your own personal power and the spiritual lessons. And this is the inner guru. This is the high self leading you in your victory, right? This is the resurrection, right? This is you coming out of a tough time and rising and feeling triumphant. You, <laughs> this is like graduating from the class, right, with high honors, so take your victory lap, okay? I feel like there's something that you're going to reach this month around you rising in your frequency and being ready for this. You're ready for whatever changes are you are embarking on this month, especially around your career or in shifting a dynamic or in releasing a painful love situation, okay? Staying committed to the truth and nothing but the truth, okay? So you can rise like the phoenixes that you are. There's something profoundly transformative going on this month for you, Leo. Wow. This is big energy. Big energy. Let's get a final draw with the Chinese five elements. Oracle. We have two coming in out. They said take the top. Take the top. But these are both. They kind of go together. As above, so below. Partnership and collaboration. Yeah. Whether this is a business partner or a love partner you're committed. You're committed and you want to succeed. You want success here. No matter who this is to you, you are committed to the journey. This is also your partnership. Actually, they want me to read a little bit of both. Let me do both. We have number five and number 48. Eight breaks down into, let's see, 12, three, five, three, eight. Yeah, this is a powerful time of change, of abundance for you, but you've got to weather these. There's like, I feel like there's storms, but they're going to pass. All right, this is the Earth Dragon. Take this card as an invitation to honor the unexplainable and the invisible. Not everything can be explained by logic. Your connection to the divine grows stronger the more you can accept that certain mysteries of life are best left as such. Mountains can intimidate with their stillness and imposing height, but they also invoke awe, and those who are attuned to the essence and energy of the elements contained and cultivated over countless generations. Imagine yourself in a place surrounded by majestic mountains. Your heart and mind feel at one with the mountains while your body feels energized and anchored. Remember this grounding energy of young earth whenever you need to recenter. The dragon is the sign that bridges heaven and earth can help expand consciousness. Hidden yin water and yin wood in the dragon indicate wisdom and creativity contained within you that can be unearthed with a consistent meditation practice. So, wow, they really want you to start meditating. That, that could be life-altering and life-changing for you to really go within. Okay, this earth dragon has a lot to do with your wisdom, your inner guru. Okay, that's really stepping forward right now. All right, this is about strengthening your connection with the divine in this lifetime, which I see this powerful need for that, or you really going deep in that this month. 48, metal pig, partnership and collaborations. So that was the dragon, if you want to see a close up. And this is the metal pig. This card appears to help us make sense of changes in our partnerships, whether personal or professional. We attract partners who match our frequencies, which change as we evolve. Relationships feel faded when the frequencies align. Separations occur when our vibrations are no longer in harmony, and there comes a time for each partner to move on to the next step in their own unique path. When this happens, let them go and wish them well, as the partnership has served its purpose. Check in with the heart whenever you're considering partnering with someone for a project. Placing your fears aside, 
Does the heart scream yes with excitement? Then go for it and enjoy the collaboration and energy exchange. There's no mere coincidence here. Pay attention to synchronicity and serendipity. The universe is always ever supportive in helping us meet the right people and the right group at the right time and the right place. Trust in divine flow and open your heart to receive its guidance. Metal shows our most significant relationships as a reflection of our soul's journey. Consider how the lessons learned in your relationships have contributed to your growth, which is a strong, strong energy for you. You're going to be really pondering that this month. The pig signifies ever-changing circumstances. Surrender to the flow and embrace the process. Yeah, ultimately, I think this is a great wrap-up of what this energy was conveying. Okay, as above, so below. Really lean into your spiritual wisdom in your expansion and that it is you have a lot of beautiful partnerships and collaborations that have taught you a great many things and will continue to teach you a great many things as the energies shift and collide okay you got this leo sending you love take care